To capture a web page, first enter the URL that you are needing to capture in the address bar. Once the web page is loaded, click the scroll button in the upper left corner. This will scroll down the web page to load in additional content and also trigger any pop ups on the web page. Once the expander is completed, you can close any pop ups that open, unless you want them to appear in the captured PDF. To capture the web page, click the Capture button in the upper left corner. First, select the folder that you would like the capture saved to. You can create new folders, rename, or delete folders if you need to. I will select the default folder. Once you have selected your folder, you will then want to select the capture type. The default option is entire page. If you only need to capture a specific portion of the web page, you can use one of the other three capture types. Single screen will provide a one page PDF output of what you are currently looking at. Top to active will capture from the top of the page down to what you are currently looking at. Active to end will capture from what you are looking at down to the bottom of the page. Before capturing the page, you can change the capture name, add a case matter ID, or any notes that you would like to add. Notes will only be visible to you in the portal and will not appear in the capture. Once you have your settings selected, you can click Start to begin the capture process.